What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. In a day's time, Raccoon City, at least I think it's a day's time, is going to be firebombed. The infamous event that we have all come to know. But, until that day happens, we were able to save Jill, we got her the vaccine, my dude Tyrell's a little hurt, but I will take that first aid spray, because even though I have four first aid sprays, I have a feeling I'm going to burn through all of them, because we have a whole bunch of freaking zombies to deal with. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Okay. I mean, they don't move all that fast. I mean, I wish I had some, you know, hand grenades. But hey, there were hunters I had to deal with. Okay. A detonator. Why do I need this? Now the fun shit begins. Why do I need a detonator? Oh my god, this is, uh, this is fin to be a problem. This is fixing to be a problem. At least I got plenty of ammo. At least I have plenty of ammo. Just don't let them corner you. For the love of God. Okay, I can run around. That's good. That's good. This is still fixing to be a problem. At least I got another first aid spray. I'm gonna leave that there. Just in case. Whoa! Get back! Get back, damn you! Get off my neck, me! Jeez, there are so many. Oh my god, they just explode? Well, at least that's how you know they're dead. I think I just spit on my desk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a good indicator that they're dead. Come on, let's get my uh, aim to be good today. Had to make sure he was dead. All right, who else wants some? Let me get rid of who's in front of me. And let's double over to you. You're coming in now. Oh, come on. It must be somewhere. Uh, where? Oh, 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 God. No, no. I, I have problems, buddy. Get off me. No. I have serious problems right now that I have to attend to. All righty. He's dead. Give me that hip pouch. <laughs> because we have some serious issues right now. Sit down. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, look at all the freaking hand grenades I just found. Oh, I am hurting bad. Now I'm good. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, so where the hell is this breaker supposed to be? Oh, that was it? All right, we got this. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo, doggy, that was rough. Oh boy, place the detonator. Oh, I got it. Hold out until the explosion. Very low on ammo. 
Oh boy. This is going to absolutely suck here in a couple of seconds. No, 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 no. Come on, timer. Woo, there we go. Oh man, I almost didn't make it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Carlos, you all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. Jeez. I'm coming back. I have like no ammo. None. I ended that up running out. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. See, Carlos, that's the that's the problem, man, is the government has roots in all this shit. That is literally the problem. They have roots in all of this. Hey, we're waking up. Chill. Whoa. Oh, thank God you're okay. You've got to be dreaming. News. It's over now. The city's safe. Nuh-uh. I don't believe this. <laughs> That's what I thought. She's having a nightmare. Oh, Carlos, you've seen better days, brother. Yeah, just take that into consideration for those of you who don't know the story. They literally just announced, hey, if you're not survive, if you're not evacuated, bye. <laughs> How they just nonchalantly over the news is like, if you're still here, you will not survive. G18 handgun burst model. A 33 shot, 9mm with a 3 round burst. It's quick rate of fire allows to do a lot of damage in a short time. Interesting. I've never been one for burst fire, not gonna lie. I've never been one for burst fire because my accuracy right, so sucks. Sure. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? Went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Yeah. Right. Guess I'm not talking to you either. They don't know about this here. Oh, you've already lo you've already lost contact with him. Jeez, let me try this out. Oh, you have to hold the trigger down. Are all of you still dead? Okay, you're all still dead, which is a good wait, 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 wait. I see that. Hold up, I see that. Where is my lockpick? 
I almost missed that. I was curious about what that red light was. What is down here? Okay, this is interesting. Was I supposed to go this way? I mean, I'd believe it. Do I have any ammo for this? No, I sure... That's the wrong button. I sure don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite that. Just in case I get into a pinch and I need to drop some ammo or uh, drop some rounds in quick succession up close, that will definitely help. Oh, this must be the way underground. I was about to say, I almost was like, oh, I'm just outside. <laughs> but no, no, I'm underground. Okay, so I was supposed to go this way then. Oh, but I'm missing out on all that stuff up there, though. Oh, do I really wanna? Yeah, fuck it. Pull the lever, crunk. Umbrella. And the interesting thing is that symbol actually exists in real life. In the hospital ever noticed all this? Exactly. Why is it that nobody saw anything? Nobody knew anything. They literally have an entire base underneath Raccoon City. A whole freaking operation underneath Raccoon City. The freaking mayor's in on it. The, uh, the, you know, chief of police is in on it. The government is in on it. They were even talking about, you know, selling some of their biological weapons to the government. And then the government was like, oh, snap. These people have been caught doing some no-no's. Good thing we're able to say we don't know these people because that is the only way to save our asses. And that's what they did. They said, oh, y'all are gonna have to shut down because we don't know y'all now. Elevator notice to all employees. We've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm, gather fuses from the sub generators situated around the warehouse, and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. Here we freaking go. We're gonna have to go searching for some shit. Wonderful. All right, let's whoa. This is a big place You You Of course there would be glass there I Can't freaking believe it. I can make some what rounds can I make combine with explosive a to make flame rounds Sweet, so I have those at least let me equip this those in. Let me go ahead and combine this with uh, store medium amount. No, I'm going to save those. There we go. Alright. Should be good here. Ow, oh, my knees. Alright, is this the one that doesn't work? Yeah, it has to be. Does he even see me? Like, for real? Does he not see me? Is this the elevator that I Yep. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. <sighs> you think this is over? Yeah, cause cause it's really not. I mean, I literally got infected and I survived. You have nothing on me. I can't go up here. Uh, so where do I go? Really? Oh, why don't you have no clothes on? The least you can do is have some freaking decency. Um, hold up. You're not dying like you should die. Let me see something. 
Oh, Jesus. You're a regenerator. Hold up. Oh, my God. Y'all are so fucking scary. I wondered why you were naked. It made sense why you were naked. Because you don't need no clothes. Your regenerating skin is your birthday suit. Now I have to deal with regenerators now? For those of you who do not know what a regenerator is, well, it was pretty self-explanatory. There's fuse number, or it's fuse number three. Oh my gosh, come on, bro. That is not fair. How y'all can just regenerate like that. That's not fair. I want to be able to regenerate. regenerate. Oh God, oh God, Cujo. Oh God, Cujo. Oh, many Cujos. Don't know how I did that, but we're just gonna chalk it up to nothing but skills. Okay, I was listening for the footfalls of Cujo 1 and Cujo 2. Sit it down. Oh, a dead end. No, wait. Never a dead end in a video game, Jill. There is always a way. There must be a way. For if there was no way, well, there is always a way. The true way. I heard you. Where are you? Ah, uh, oh, there you are. I was about to say, eh, I don't even care. But I was like, nah, you know what? While it's here, I'm going to go ahead and get it. You never know. It could have been the last one. <laughs> anyway. Let's go up. I'm just thankful that he isn't, like, shooting at me. Like, how much you want to bet he works for Umbrella? Well, I mean, they all did. You know, they're the... They're the, the UBCS. But he probably works for Umbrella in a bad way. Like, he's probably all for him. Now I have a pistol with some... Oh, God. Oh, God. There's one of you in there. There's one of you in there. Why does there have to be one of you in there? Do I have anything? Nothing? No? I literally have to waste ammo just to punch by this thing? Oh, God. This is going to suck. Employee memo? September 12th. Admitted to N2. Male, 45. Female, 32. Discarded. Male, 60. Female, 89. September 15th, admitted to N2. Males, 55, 19. Female, 51. Discarded female, 76. Returned. Female, 8. Uninfected. Admitted to N2. Males, 25, 22, 15. These are their ages, by the way. Female, 16, 21, 29. Discarded. 6 male specimens. 9 female specimens. Disposals trending upwards daily. Preempt, uh, preemptively dispose of any over 30 years of age. Nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admissions to underground facility temporarily halted. Yep, because y'all got caught. Aha! Open that lock. Get in there! Ah, get off my ankle! Oh, why do you sound like it tastes good? Did you hear him smacking his lips? He's like, mm-hmm. That's good eating right there. What the fuck? <laughs> he literally sounded like he was tasting it. <laughs> I know it, it literally took me around in circles and I don't know why. 
Is it, was it like a way for me to, you know, double back? Is that what that was? To like connect the rooms? Get out of the way. <laughs> Just get out of the way. <laughs> where do, where do I have to go? <laughs> oh God. Uh. Oh, Jesus, I'm surrounded. <laughs> Get off of my neck, mate. Ow, hot, hot, hot. Just light him up, Jill. Light him the fuck up. Ooh, good thing I had those flame rounds. Wait. Got him. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. I have ammunition. Slow down. I think I would rather get some shotgun. Okay, so I have a little bit of shotgun shells now. Do I want to... Oh, fine. I really hope that that's not a bad decision. Now, all of that, and there's no fuse in here? Are you serious? It was just, it, whoa, I got scared of my own shadow. <laughs> I got scared of my own shadow. Alrighty, here's the fuse right outside of the shit. Oh, Jesus. Last flame round. Oh, that didn't kill you? No. No. Get back. I... Oh, thank God. There it is. Finally, I really I hope I'm not going to need that flame round later because it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I freaking wasted that bad boy. So, that's a good thing to learn about the Hunter series. I actually killed it. I came through here and put two shotgun blasts to it. Hold on, I don't have to go all this way. But anyway, while I monologue, I came through here and put two shotgun blasts to it. And it did not die. Not once. Until then. That is absolutely wild. That is absolutely wild. I guess you just have to hit it enough times to where it can't, you know, regenerate anymore. Oh, gee. Hey, ow. Get back. Ow. I have already been poked with something once already, and it infected me. Not anymore. I am hurting. So let me go ahead and combine this with that and take that so I'll feel better. Reload this. Go ahead and take this out. And we're going to go right there. Right there. And right there. And then we're going to do ourselves some fucking hunting. Because Nikolai, he's got to pay. He's got to pay. That's going to be one hell of a boss fight, too. And of course... Shit. He got away. Yeah, they always do, Jill. They always do. Doing? However... Oh, I'm back at the top of the list now. Anyway, Jill, what were you saying? What was he doing? I don't know. Hell if I know. Maybe this glowing panel has anything to do with it? Unfinished activity log. Jeez. At 1,300 infiltrated RC, disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. 
observed five RPD officers engaging a pack, 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university, diverted pack, including canines, to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours, no survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon, will make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack toward command post, result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants, video attached. End of skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male, infected, and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female, JV, Jill Valentine, has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N, investigating. Project Nemesis, observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating JV and knows the city layout, evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV, video attached. JV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO, a soldier in MV platoon. Carlos, I think his last name is Ortiz, but I don't, don't quote me. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear that bioweapon, the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve, will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. <clears throat> so they literally have been monitoring how Project Nemesis works? <clears throat> My dog. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Get you a Tyrell. Uh, they'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. Oh boy. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Oh man, you you are beat to hell, bro. And yet you still out here? We'll find the vaccine up ahead. My dog. And we'll also find Nikolai. I am sure because this is the only way that he could have gone. Don't kill Tyrell. For the love of God, don't kill him. I can't run. Sure you don't need to stop? Don't kill him. Do what? I got your back. Do okay. not. Let's get this done. Kill this man, please. Please do not kill this man. <sighs> Dag gummit. So, you're back again, huh? No. Keep going. We're almost there. Come on, buddy. We got this. Dag Gum it! No. No. Oh. Oh. Fuck, man! That hurts, and I wasn't even the one that was hit! That was a ride or die homie, man! I don't even care that Nemesis is chasing my ass again! God, why? I, I figured. Yay. Decontamination. whoop de freaking do Tyrell could have used some of that, but no, game. You just had to kill him. The one person that was a cut above the rest and you had to kill him. Huh. <sighs> And now we got all these daggum doors. I found some more high-grade gunpowder. What is this? Nest to employee regulations. Attention, Nest to employees. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. 
In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest search organi or research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we for forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, there was a map to that. Cool. Oh my gosh, man. That is terrible. I can only imagine how much... Man, all I gotta say is... What you got in there? Freaking I-35? 332 core processor that uses, uh, that uses solar energy? Mm-hmm. That's that latest and greatest technology right there. I figured. You're not slick. You're not slick, but you are dead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sit it down. Sit it down. Yeah. Give me that herb. I am actually really freaking heartbroken from that, man. Looks like there was nothing... There was no other way for me to go down that way. Okay, you're dead. The bullet went through you, so you're dead. All right, let's search this room. More high-grade gunpowder. You're dead too. Trust and believe, people, it is not a waste of ammunition to make sure that they're dead. Because if they weren't dead, then I would have to shoot them anyways. Essay on vaccine synthesis. Jesus. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants. I guess that's how you say that. Dr. Nathaniel Barr, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant or the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary machine or equipment, a large batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. So if you're already infect, I mean, if you're like Jill was infected, you know, Jill was infected. But are you saying like it could do more or what? Successfully generated. What have we here? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that was in there. Flash drive. I guess that helps me get into these doors then. So I have to, to synthesis, yeah, place, place the materials. materials in the chamber. Okay, so I will have to come back through here. Gonna put an herb in there. Nah. Okay. Synthesis? I have to make it myself. <sighs> All right, gotta figure this out. We already did. We have our mission. We pretty much have to go to a lot of these doors that have red locked, you know, panels on them. And I'm pretty sure that flash drive will get us through them. Like, for example, let's use this here. Yes, sir. Override complete. Okay, so I don't have to take it back out. Yes, I do. But I'm pretty sure I. Oh. But I say I'm pretty sure I could do that once I actually. Hey, get off of me! I was about to switch to that, uh, to, to this. Got it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna waste my time with you. Oh, there are two of you up here. Sit it down. Sit it down. Sit it down. 
making sure your ass doesn't get back up. I might have to waste the ammo and start destroying those guys. I might have to because they're going to pose a... I saw your freaking... I see your shit moving. You couldn't fool me when your clothes were moving. Alrighty, sweetness. Uh, ooh, oh, uh, sure. I'm having to really, oh, I can get rid of that now. I'd have to really, uh, start micromanaging. There is so many things to read. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weapon reauthorization is as advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation, granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been repairing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry, but I kind of already have. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully unprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabriel Reed. What kind of high-powered weaponry are we talking about here? Ooh, that's one of the things. Give me that. I would like that. Culture sample. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Heck yeah. And good ammo. And I hear a little dude ski. Aha! All right, let's see about finding that, uh, that edgevant. This must be what powers it. Okay. Hey, I didn't tell you to get up. Sit down. If I shoot you in the butt. Sit down. Sit down. Do you like being shot in the butt? Uh-huh. You thought. You thought. You thought. So, I know why they've been giving me plenty of shotgun shells. Because roughly two shotgun shells can get rid of the pale heads. So that's why they've been stocking me up with the ability to get shotgun shells on a consistent basis. Because they help. A lot. And I'm just able to access this. Oh, dear Jesus. God. Is this, this is scary. I don't want to create flame rounds. I want explosive rounds. Because those things don't go down with fire. They go down with explodies. Jesus, man. That's a lot of hunter gammas. That is terrifying. Okay, you're dead. That is so damn terrifying, man. I, I, I get the feeling. I get the inkling, the itch, that they're going to launch all of them against me. Oh my god. Uh-uh. Fuck off. Shit. Fire. And save matches. Woo. Okay, I don't have a choice. 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 
I do not have a choice. I was about to say, I thought I hit nothing. Oh my god, I literally hit nothing. No! 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 Get away from me! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I get through y'all? How do I get through y'all? This is not good. I should not have... Oh god, this is not good. This is not good. At all. Oh my god, get off of me! Get off of me! Jeez, man. God, you all freaking naked and shit. Gosh, man. Thank God. Oh my gosh. That, that was fucked up. I'm hurting badly. Oh, look at that. There was some explosive B. I could have made explosive rounds. Sit it down. I have no time for any more of your bull crap. Get off of me. Jeez, man. Combine. Now eat that. My lord. I am I good? Can I freaking breathe? Jeez, oh, man. Expression of concern. Senior fellow, Dr. Frankel. That's an interesting name. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain can gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established Umbrella policy. Emphatically. Did I say that? I don't know. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous pre uh, precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps, in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes. But here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the Forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, so PhD. Yep, big end. More explosive A. I really wish that that crap would have worked better. Yeah, there's the other sample. An Woo! Sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Yeah, alrighty. Now let's go back and hope that nothing happens. Please don't break out. Please don't break out. Please don't break out. Please. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Oh my heart, I'm not equipped for this shit! Why are there two of you? Should I just go balls to the wall and say fuck it? You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off for a second. <laughs> And I'm gonna equip this. No! I need some room. Ah! 
No! No! I will shoot that shit point blank if I have to. No! No! <laughs> Get away! Oh, thank God. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me right now? How do I get out of this situation? That is more than I can fucking handle. Yes. How I am out of almost everything. Woo! Oh, slow motion? Fuck. I am out of everything. I am... I was out of everything. Oh my gosh. You know what? No! We are not gonna go there! I am not equipped for this right now, man. I am not equipped for this, and I had a feeling that they were gonna do that to me. I had a fucking feeling. Oh, man. But, I mean, within hours, the place is going to be firebombed, so we're going to see if one more episode can see us through to this game. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.